here. This is Eve. I'm founder and managing partner of the Python Quants. Today I'm going to introduce you to our Quant platform, which is all about browser-based data and financial analytics. Here you see our infographic about the platform and you see that you can do quite a bit on it. Uh, first of all, it's about data, of course. Uh, even if you talk about financial analytics, it's usually about Financial data, you can start with an idea there uh, and you can finally deploy even your applications on the Quant platform. Uh, you can do interactive financial analytics, of course, uh, there are multiple options to do visualization, data analysis, financial analysis, and even if you want to share your work with the general public or within a team, all this is possible on the platform where the focus lies on Python for financial analysis and data analysis. And the major tool used there is Jupyter Notebook, but you have multiple tools in addition available. And this is what I'm going to illustrate right now. I'm going to change here and log in to the Quant platform. Here you see the main screen. I start on the left-hand side here in this uh, panel where you see a couple of folders. They might differ uh, from account to account, um, but the only thing that you see here actually are the folders and if there are any on this uh, particular level, uh, a notebook. So it's the first thing that I'm going to do is here I open a Jupyter notebook. This is an example notebook taken from one of our courses. You see this is entitled here, Finance with Python. There's a little bit of code that is finance and if we scroll down you see that there's a nice 3D uh, plot here included and this is what you uh, might probably, uh, probably use regularly the Jupyter notebook capabilities nice tool um, here to do interactive data analysis and financial analysis. I can easily close this once again and here you see I should also shut down the kernel that is running. I can, of course, here navigate to uh, the folders. So if I uh, click here on that folder, you see that there are multiple uh, folders down there. So you can here navigate, but you won't see any other files than the Jupyter Notebook. This is different to the file manager. The file manager is intended to provide you, let's say, full-fledged file management capabilities. You see here now on the right-hand side, the same structure as we have encountered already on the left-hand side. But if I, for example, now navigate to uh, this folder by double-clicking and now go a little bit deeper to another one, you see there is, for example, a video file in here, um, other files as well. So when I go to uh, such a folder, you see here that there are PDFs uh, on this, another video, and also here a Jupyter Notebook. So this is meant to work with files to navigate um, the complete file structure that you have in your account. There are a couple of things that you can do. So if I go on the home level, um, you see here I can, for example, uh, hover over the example Jupyter Notebook file. When I do a right click, you see that I have multiple options to work with the file, for example, deleting it, renaming it, uh, making a copy. We also have a couple of Git capabilities or we can zip files or folders. If I scroll down you see it's also here where you can download certain files or create links that you can share with others. You can send this file to others. You can publish it um, to share it with uh, others or even the whole world if you like via a publicly accessible um, folder and you can create new folders or even export all files. So we have a very open policy uh, whenever you want to um, get a dump of all the files in your account. It's easy via export all files and we provide you with a zip file of everything that you have done and that you have stored in your account. So the file manager provides you with powerful capabilities to manage um, files of any kind um, also from here, I could open uh, Jupyter Notebooks just as one example. Then we have the uh, task manager. Currently, there's nothing running. There is no 
terminal running here in my account. There's also no notebook running, but later on, if we open uh, one of these uh, tools, then we will see it here and I will get quickly back to it. Then we have um, the web-based editor here, uh, which you can open, let's say with a um, file here on the, uh, the standard default name untitled.txt. And I could, for example, now go and change this to example.py and could now start Python development example here. So uh, saying, for example, uh, little Python script and then import numpy as np, say a as np arrange 10 print a and we would have edited our first Python example. But I don't need to start from scratch if you like. If I go back to uh, the file manager and then navigate, for example, to the PyAlgo folder here and go a little bit deeper, for example, here in chapter six of the respective course here and click, double click on such a file, you see that the editor opens with the existing file here. So full-fledged editing capabilities. The next tool is the shell. So you have in principle access to a full-fledged Linux shell here where I can do my regular Linux stuff. For example, here displaying uh, the contents of the current folder. I can navigate to uh, certain places as you are used to probably. Or I can also use typical tools like Wim for text editing if this is your tool of choice. I could here, you see the, um, the example.py that I created previously. I could say, for example, Wim example.py and can open this for editing on the shell. So full-fledged capabilities here as well. Now when I go back to the task manager, you see that now one terminal is running. This is the terminal one that I opened previously. No notebook is running. But if I, for example, open here the example Jupyter Notebook and uh, go back to the task manager, you see now that we see the example Jupyter Notebook running here. So no matter from which location you open um, a Jupyter Notebook, for example, you always have the overview here and I can shut it down when I'm finished doing my edits. Then all platform users have uh, user forum access. And when I open the user forum, it now loads a bit because it's growing and growing over time. You see that we have different boards, one for general question with regard to the Quant platform. Then there is uh, one dedicated to our certificate program, one for the finance with Python course, one for Python for financial data science, one for algorithm trading, computation of finance, and last but not least, here's one for our DX Analytics financial um, analytics library. So when I go, for example, um, to uh, finance with Python, there are not that many in there, but you see a couple of questions. So I can uh, here, for example, um, um, go to uh, certain ones like that one, and you see there was a question posted and an answer given for one of our students here, which uh, raised a question about the replication portfolio here in this example. So you can always post and usually you get an answer within 24 hours by us or somebody else working at this time on the platform. Then there are a couple of editing capabilities that uh, are only available to administrators like I am. Um, and for everybody, there is the My Account section. So we see that I have put in here a couple of, um, um, couple of social um, media and information pieces uh, like my Skype address and so forth. You can upload an image. You see here one of our, uh, one of our designs as my image here. And um, this is where you can manage your appearance and uh, everything else around that with regard to your account. Under my trainings, um, you find the courses and classes that you have access to. This is now 
specifically for those who are doing trainings with us on the platform. And if I dive into Finance with Python, for example, you see that you get um, a rather lengthy uh, course file. So as a PDF, this is some 150 pages. See on the left-hand side, the navigational bar, where you can, for example, jump to financial assets subsection in uh, chapter two here. You see this is kind of um, a mixture, of course, of explanations of uh, code here. Um, of mathematics, of course, we're talking here about uh, finance, so there's a little bit of a need for math and so forth. So it's uh, where you find the course material. But this course material for those um, who are doing um, courses with us um, is also provided when I go back here to this part, dive into it. This is um, also provided as a PDF where you get access to. This is typically password protected. So when I open it, you see that now I have access to the course material um, in PDF form, which is also downloadable, uh, which you can then use, for example, uh, on your iPad when you are sitting on the airplane and might not have access to, uh, to uh, the internet. So this is how it looks then. Then we have, of course, the uh, other courses like Python for Algorithmic Trading. But there are also the sections with regard to the classes. Um, the difference between course and classes is that our courses just have static content. The classes always have uh, live instruction and video content attached to it. So when I go to Finance with Python, you now see here an overview of Finance with Python videos. And uh, in this part, you might notice it. we have four different videos in four modules. So for example, when I click on Finance with Python number one, you see that in this model, uh, module area, you find a couple of notebooks, also here a, a little slide deck. Uh, but in particular, you get access to the respective video. So you see it's kind of a little bit more than two hours. And if I jump forward and let it run, I hear myself now on the platform in the video section. So no need to let this run, but you see that all the media, all the content, everything related to certain courses, classes uh, for our training students are stored here in a central fashion. And what is also interesting um, to note here is that from this module area, I can also open the Jupyter Notebooks directly. So it's not only that we provide the content, but uh, as you can see here, it's an execution environment, of course, and this makes it kind of nice because you can immediately click on executable content like a Jupyter Notebook and have immediate access to it. Then in this area, there are a couple of, um, a couple of other resources a uh, couple of other uh, links, so to say. So just to pick one, the X Analytics, uh, this brings you to an external page. This is the main page for our financial analytics library and a couple of other resources that might be useful if you want to do data analysis or financial analytics on our Quant platform. So this brings me to the end of this little walkthrough and back to my brief slide deck. And when I go one step further, you see the overview of what we do overall at the Python Quants, where training is at the center of the story these days. Of course, we also provide services to financial institutions. We organize a couple of events. So watch out for events if you're interested, in particular in financial centers like um, London and New York. Um, we provide in the training area also one of the first certifications with regard to, uh, if not the only one at this point in time, about Python for algorithmic trading. We've uh, authored a couple of books about the topic, have open sourced our financial analytics library, and you see on the left-hand side here, the platform is what stands at the core of everything that we do uh, with more than 10,000 users as of today. It is indeed at the core, not only for many people interacting with us, but also for what we deliver to 
our audiences in particular with regard to training where you've seen that everything is stored there uh, and ready for execution in a central easily accessible fashion just with it tpq.io where you'll find further information links additional resources or get in touch uh, via the different channels in any case, if you haven't yet registered for a free trial, for a free account, individual accounts are free. We don't have plans to change this in the near future. Uh, just visit uh, pqp.io and it should uh, not take longer than two minutes to sign up for a free trial, free individual account, and you can access the interactive analytics capabilities just by using your browser and having available an internet connection. This closes this uh, little intro to our Quant platform. Here again, our um, channels of contact, um, link with us on Twitter, for example, QIGH or visit tpq.io or send us an email to team at tpq.io and we'll get back as quick as possible. Thanks, I'm Eve. I'm founder and managing partner of the Python Quants and I hope to see you soon on the Quant platform.